What's going on guys? Young with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. Last time we took forever to get to Moltres and we defeated it. Today we're going to be hatching a Graveler. Actually, we're going to be turning a Graveler into the egg. That's right. That's going to be the entire video is we're just going to be taking this Graveler and we're going to turn him into an egg and he's just going to sit here. Now we're just going to sit here and yeah, so today let's go with... I don't know why. I like box one. I just kind of want to clear box one out. Let's go... Let's try this one. And let's go put minion in the box for a second. We haven't actually hatched an illegal Pokemon in a while, so I've been I've been quite happy, but like I said last time, oh, okay, seriously what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be going into the power plant finally, because people have been telling me to go into the power plant for the longest time. And today we're gonna be doing that, but we'll probably be catching some like derpy level 20 Magnemite or something, but in the meantime, we will be taking on Zapdos, and depending on the time, I don't think we'll be taking on Articuno today, because like I said in the last one, I am having to do a little bit of bulk recording because I'm going out of town for a few days, so I have to do shorter videos, because I am actually recording this one immediately after part 18, so I, I can't I, I can't do a long string of videos in a row, like long videos, so it's, <gasps> it's another Growlithe! Oh my god, shoot me! <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's cool. I hate my life. Arr, you're gonna be you're just gonna be named X. You don't even don't even get a name, you're just X now. Arr, there's too many of you. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Seriously? Yeah, it's Okay, so now we this is technically our third Growlithe, and I I I I'm really starting to hate Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why everyone's been so had like such big boners for Eggwalks recently because they kind of are starting to hate, want me to despise Pokemon. I I don't want to ever do another Eggwalk again. I'm not saying I won't. When I when I can get a better computer and I can run DS emulators, I will probably run an Eggwalk or do another Eggwalk again. Of a I don't even want to try battling that guy. But in the meantime, yeah, no, I'm not doing another egg lock, so I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but that's... Okay, so our first Pokemon for this world is going to be a Magneton level 34. Wow, I I, I better switch out, actually. Um, 10 bucks says that this evolves, that this turns into a Pokemon we already have two of, because that just seems to be how this is going. Why? Okay, I don't know why I used Peck. Um, I'm kind of afraid anything else I use will kill him, actually. Mega Kick probably won't, because it does resist it. Or we can just hit ourselves, because that works too. Okay, you want to maybe not hit yourself this time, Moon? Maybe? Want to kick it? Okay, nope, that's cool. Do what, you know, whatevs. Just do whatever you feel is most appropriate. Can we do it today? Can we hit it? Can we hit it? <gasps> you hit it! Yay! Okay, well, that did nothing. Um, we could take two more Sonic Booms. I think that's the only move it has to kill us. But yeah, that's the only move it has to actually do damage to us. And I'm not even going to bother attacking now. We're just going to start chucking our Great Balls. Which, we are almost out of Great Balls. And I'm a little worried this Magneton might be rather difficult to catch. One, two. Okay, or you know, just prove me... No! Oh, you you scared me. I thought we had you. But then we didn't. And now my mind just doesn't know what to think. One, two... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Cause us problems. I, I appreciate your ability to stay out of your Pokeball. I'm just saying, we have free coffee. And, okay. Now we know coffee. Magneton likes his coffee. Alright. Well, before I forget, we're just, we might as well just turn right around and hatch this thing because I will forget and then people will tell me, Hardy, go hatch the Magneton. Just like I'm absolutely sure on part 18, despite the fact that it hasn't even been uploaded yet, I can already predict there are people telling me to go hatch the Graveler because I forgot. Don't worry, I didn't forget, okay? Okay. Anyways, let's go hatch this Magneton. I, I'm not even going to bother rare canning these two. All I know is Heracross is supposed to be 31 and he's supposed to be 36, so... I'm not. I'm never even going to use them. I'm going to say it right now. I already have like a Growlithe. I already have like five Heracrosses. So I did not even get an egg. Did I? What did I just do? Did I just put Magneton in my party? I think that's what I did. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's take. I don't know. Box one obviously isn't working out for us. Box one is all the freaking duplicates. So let's try box two today. And 
I know, I think in, in the last episode, or it might have been this one, like I said, I'm recording them back to back, so it all seems like one big episode to me, but I had, we hadn't run into an illegal Pokemon in quite some time. Maybe it's because we haven't exactly been hatching a lot of Pokemon lately, but I'm happy. So this one's going to be... <gasps> oh my god, it's a new Pokemon, yet it's another freaking water type. I just can't win. Alright, I'm going to nickname you... Uh, you're a guy. I was gonna, I have like, I think all my Pokemon are guys. All right, I'm gonna name you. I I don't know, Oscar. Yep, that's a good name for a seal. Why not? Okay, awesome. Oscar is now our seal, and he has my seal of approval. I can hear the crickets right now. That was a horrible joke. I'm so sorry. And he's supposed to be level 31. Once again, I I will do that eventually. I just can't be bothered right now because. I just, I honestly don't see the time any time soon where I'm actually going to need a seal or a dugong. I mean, once Lapras dies, or if Lapras dies, I should say, I, I already have a lot of options. You know, I have Poliwag, which is still looking like a good choice. I have, um, Croconaw. I have, I know there's more water types I can't think of. I know there's like 15 Laprases in the box. I think I actually hatched another Lapras. So, yeah, I have... A lot of options. Yeah, I actually hatched a Lapras from a Lapras, so <laughs> yeah, because, you know, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I can never remember how to get through this place. I know he is on, like, the west side of the building, which doesn't make sense because we just entered from the west side. And, wow, we were in a Pokemon Center and I forgot to heal up, but might as well use Moon here because I can't think of any better place to train him than against a bunch of electric types. So, yeah. And I'm going to try to just try to figure out my way to get through to stupid Zapdos who I don't even know why I'm going to bother using Moon because Zapdos doesn't have any electric type moves. I think I said that in the last episode. Yeah, he has, I think he has, um, I think, I want to think he has like a light screen. He has drill peck. Um, I think he has two flying type moves. Thunder, okay, I think he has thunder wave, but... That doesn't... Is that technically a fighting... Is that technically an electric type move? I mean... Really? It doesn't do any damage. Okay, I should say that. He doesn't have any damage dealing... Of course! I'm paralyzed. I'm... I'm freaking, freaking, how do you even learn supersonic? Which is... No. You shouldn't be able to learn supersonic. Supersonic isn't that like making loud noises. I don't think I've ever heard a magnet make a noise before. I don't think I've ever walked up to a magnet being like, Hey bro, how are you? And it's just been like, Magnet noises! Magnet! No. Magnets don't make noises. They... I actually, I think magnets, like really big magnets, they like, they, they hum. But I think those are like electrically charged magnets or whatever. I don't... I don't know how it works. All I know is magnets don't talk. And yet, here's a Magnemite just making all the noise in the world thinking he can just do whatever the heck he wants. When you know what, Magnemite? No. You can't. You can't do whatever you want. So, if we take on Zapdos really fast, I know what I'm going to be doing to continue on this video, so don't worry, because I'm pretty sure we're getting to Zapdos a lot faster than, we, than it took us to get to Moltres, and we're not going to be taking on Articuno. We'll probably save that for next time, and, oh, okay, there's Zapdos. Let's hope this one's a little more dramatic than the Moltres battle, where we just, we one-shotted Moltres, and that wasn't a lot of fun, so here we go, Zapdos. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? I bet this battle's gonna be surprisingly not very shocking. <laughs> get it? Do you get the joke? Do you get the joke? I get the joke. Okay, so legendary number bird. Legendary number bird? Legendary bird number two. We will be taking on. We're not even at full health. That's how little I care about this battle. That's how confident I am. I knew it. He does have Thunder Wave. Okay, so. When I said he doesn't have any electric attacks, I obviously meant that he has a move that can do a lot of damage to us. And that didn't do nearly as much as it should have. Um, okay, let's go into Beto because we can safely switch in on an electric type. And we don't resist Drill Peck, and that's actually doing quite a bit. But, you know what? We can just Ice Beam and be like, hey, screw you. So, I don't think Ice Beam's going to one-shot him, actually. Well, it might. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It, wow, okay, Zapdos apparently, no, whoa, 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 no, 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 no,
Okay, Zapdos down. Let's pretend that never happened because I almost made a huge mistake. Now, you guys might be wondering, what am I going to be doing next? Well, I am going to be going to, I think, Fuchsia City? We can get Ultra Balls there. In case you didn't gather from that, I am going to buy some Ultra Balls. And before I forget, I am going to heal up as well. Now, we're going to go to try and catch Snorlax. We have that Snorlax waiting for us over on the side of Vermilion City that uh, we've... I want to catch, and I want to hatch it into a Pokemon. I don't, I don't know if I want to hatch it into Pokemon. I just want to catch it because it's challenge catching Snorlax. Like seriously, they are a huge pain in the butt to catch. Let's get, let's get 20 Ultra Balls, and I'm gonna like use strategy here and everything. I do I have a Pokemon that can paralyze? I don't, I don't think I do actually. Why do, why do wait why, why do I still have Minion? Ah, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing, is we're going to try to go take on Snorlax. I don't think he'll be able to kill any of my Pokemon, because I do have Nekestro, who will pretty much resist all his moves and could wall him extremely badly. And, yeah, so we're going to be taking on Snorlax. For a while. I've only said this like ten times now, so I'm just going to keep on saying it. We have not caught a Pokemon on this route yet, which is, I believe, Route 11. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God, what? No! What? Uh, what? <laughs> really? No, wait, does this turn into Route 12? Does this? Okay. <laughs> it turns into Route 12. I was like, what? No! But yeah, no, I haven't caught a Pokemon in Route 12 yet, so we are perfectly able to catch the Snorlax. And it attacks us in a Grumpy Ridge. That's what I do whenever I get woken up. Unless I get woken up by someone I like. If I get woken up by someone I don't like, there's a good chance I'm just going to, like start throwing things at you. I'll just find the nearest thing that I can find, which is usually my phone, which is typically not something I actually want to throw. I will chuck it at your face, and I will make sure it hits you, and I will make sure it hurts you, and I hope he doesn't get poisoned. I, do I have poison touch? I don't remember. You have rest, though. Fantastic. That's going to get really annoying. Rest, and he has a Chesto Berry. Yay, I... Completely forgot about that. And he has Snore. <laughs> what? Why would you use Snore? Alright, whatever. Ten bucks says he goes back to sleep right here. Oh, okay, no, he used Yawn. So the only movie he actually has that can hit us is... Don't you do it. Uh, okay, I don't mind being put to sleep as long as he doesn't use Rest. So all he has that can hit us is Headbutt. I, I thought he had a non-normal type move, but I guess not. So let's try Ultra Balling. Can we maybe get him on the first try or anything before he uses Rest? One, two... Three. Oh, we didn't even get three. Okay. Yeah, you snore. That's real smart. Actually, I think snore is actually, like, really powerful. So, if he goes to sleep, I'm going to have to be careful. One, two, come on. Oh, stop using snore. It's such a tease. It's actually, like, really annoying me that you're doing that. Come on, stay in the ball. Oh, are you... No! We were so close! Oh, okay. I'm going to use Brick Break. Oh, actually, when I wake up, I'm going to use Brick Break. I don't think Brick Break will kill because Dig with Stab. Oh, boy. Okay, actually, that knew nearly as much as I had a one. Either way, I'm just trying to say I don't believe Brick Break will kill because it's not Stab. And. Oh! That's actually perfect! He's going to use Snore again. Oh, okay. Or he. Then it. Um, and he's asleep. Wow, that sleep? For those who don't know, status conditions increase your catch rate, and sleep actually does it the best because paralysis, poison, and burn I think all increase by 1.5%, and sleep actually increases it by 2%, or er, by 1.5 times, not percent, and sleep increases it by 2 times. So, if you're trying to catch a Pokemon, putting it to sleep is the best way to catch it. Not paralysis, not freezing it, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep is always the way to go. So you better have a Pokemon that has like Spore, and you're set. No, stay in the ball! Arr! Okay, I think we're going to be put to sleep too, which sucks. Yeah, nice, awesome. Well, let's try Brick Breaking again, because now we know he'll live a Brick Break with a perfect amount of HP. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Okay, he's not snoring. I don't know why he's not snoring, he's not the smartest Pokemon. Seriously, why? I want to know why he's not snoring, and I want to know right now. It makes no sense. He snores forever when he's... Uh, I better heal up. Actually, I might as well just switch into somebody else. 
I wish I had somebody with insomnia, but alas, that's not the case. It doesn't matter though, because we have a Nekestro. No, you snore whore. Dang it. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I believe in us. Let's. I don't know. Let's rock slide it. I was gonna say we could try to flinch it, but yeah, he's asleep, so not like that's the most useful thing. I don't know. Let's try biting. See how much. Okay. Okay. Let's. It's gonna wake up next turn, so now's the prime time to try catching it because it is asleep. We have that two times modifier. Plus the Ultra Ball with the three times modifier, can we? Nope! You can't even give us two shakes. How are you even breaking out of the ball? You're, you just, it, 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 no, it, it doesn't make sense. Don't you do it. Okay, he's not resting. I think we can do it. I think this is one. <gasps> Let's go back to the old theory of insulting Pokemon. Seriously, if you've watched my Let's Plays in the past, you know insulting Pokemon always works. Snorlax, you are fat, nobody likes you, you deserve to just go back to the mountains and die alone forever because you are an ungrateful Pokemon and nobody ever wants to own you. Okay, no, you, you, ah, that is like, it's seriously my frustrated noise right now. I am so upset with you. Why do you have to do, no, no, I wasn't that upset. Oh, okay, well, that's disappointing. I do know there is a leftovers here, but you need the item finder for it. I don't have the item finder and leftovers doesn't really interest me that much because, yeah, yeah. I probably should get it, but I'm not going to. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Next time, we'll probably be taking on Articuno, and we should be taking on Giovanni. Oh, I have a question. I meant to ask this in the last episode, and actually, um, the question will be irrelevant because by the time I post this, uh, yeah, either way, never mind. No question. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the shorter episodes, but I already explained why in the last episode. Until next time, I'm Marty Tegio. Yo. Peace.